Hello everybody, Chef Tao here again. Uh, going to continue my uh, cooking series of kitchen techniques and food techniques and you know like I always said everybody needs to know a few things in order to cook for themselves and not only themselves but just a few friends uh, that may be over at your house or visiting. So today we're going to make something called spatchcock chicken and this is something that uh, friends of mine asked me to do a cooking demonstration on so you know to satisfy their wishes I'm going to do that for you now. Okay, so what I have here is I have a, 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 a small roasted chicken. Uh, Spatchcocking is usually for gamey type birds, more like a, 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 a quail or a swab, squab or, or that type of bird. But since this is a small bird, we're going to go ahead and work with this. And uh, we're going to go ahead and start our demonstration now. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the backbone. We're going to try to get this bird as flat as possible. So we're going to feel out the backbone, and just like in a person, the backbone goes along the, the base. We're going to start at the base, and we're going to go along the spine, and we're going to we're going to cut all the way up without using our kitchen shears. Okay, as you can see, we got a few organs in there, a few lungs that we're going to take out. And we're going to go ahead and start on the other side. We're going to work our way up. The spine. There we go. We'll cut through that. This would be good for your uh, stock pot, as I must say it in the restaurant terms. Okay, as you can see right now, we're gonna our bird is typically flat on the bottom, but if you look and we roll it over, it's still not as flat as we would like. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here up to the breast. I'm going to roll it over here, and we're going to just pop it right there. And when we pop that, if you look, this breastplate, this bone right here, releases itself. Now we can either pull this out, or we can leave it where it's at. And I'm going to leave it where it's at for the simple fact that I want the moisture to stay in the bird, and this will help do that. So in doing that, you can see our bird is now very flat. It's a flat bird. So before we fold, we're going to take, before we fold the legs out, we're going to take our fingers and we're going to gently work the skin. We're not taking it off, we're just going to work it so we can get a cavity in there. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want to come over to our next workstation. Remember cross contamination here, people. You don't want to contaminate anything. So we'll come over to our next workstation. I got some fresh herbs in here. I have some cilantro, some tip, some dill, uh, some fresh garlic, a little olive oil, some green onions, and some thyme. Okay. Now we're going to place this on. There we go. Make sure we get all that inside there. Okay, and we're going to we're going to grind this up. We're going to keep it grinding until we get a nice coarse grind because we're going to stuff it under the skin with this nice seasoning. And once it comes out, it's going to be just simply wonderful. The taste that you're going to get from these herbs, these fresh herbs underneath the skin of your fat top chicken. But keep in mind, you can always mix this with something else if you like. You know, you can use. A variety of different ingredients, uh, something that may cater more to your taste. But since these are the herbs that I had on hand, this is what I want to use. So, in order to keep preventing cross contamination, I'll get a fresh glove because who wants to walk around smelling like garlic all day? Okay, we're going to take this. This, like I said, this coarse mixture, and we're going to go underneath the skin here. 
we're going to put it all the way up in the cavity and we're going to stuff that in there as much as we can get and I wish I wish you all had smell of vision right now because the smell is coming off these fresh herbs is just unreal unreal okay we're going to go ahead and Try to get some down there into the dark meat areas and thighs. We're gonna work it in. We're gonna work it in as much as possible. I got my oven preheated to 350 degrees right now. It is all ready to go. But most importantly, I have my broiler ready because this spatchcock chicken is gonna go on the broiler. We're gonna get some nice lines going on there. Okay. We're going to go ahead and turn these wings up and over, just like so. Because we're trying, we're going for it, we're trying to get this chicken as flat as possible. So we're just going to go ahead and just put those over. Now let's look at this bird. We're going to take this bird and we're going to put it onto the broiler. We're going to get our nice lines going. And once we get the nice lines going, we're going to go ahead and turn it over. And then we're going to into the oven and go. But before that, I got some beautiful, I got a little smoke coming off my broiler here, so I'll turn that on. I got some rendered bacon and uh, duck fat that I say, and uh, I think that that will add a nice, uh, give the skin a nice crunchiness to it, and we're gonna add some flavor to it. We're gonna add calories, but you will appreciate this. If you have any rendered fat you would like to try, you know, I get some off lamb. We're going to give that a nice coating. We're going to flip this over and we're going to go skin down first onto the broiler. Now coming over here, I got just a simple masonry block that I uh, had left over from the construction of my patio. I'm going to wrap that up in some foil and to keep the moisture in the chicken we're going to go ahead and place this on top and that's going to add some weight down on there and we're going to go ahead and pause while we get some nice grill lines on our spatch top chicken and we'll join you back in a minute let's go okay we're back we're ready to flip we're gonna pull that chicken up and we're gonna go ahead and put it face down. And as you can see, we got a nice char on here. The fresh herbs are looking just wonderful. We got a nice crispiness to the skin. And now we're gonna seal in all that deliciousness underneath. I never. I've never wanted to finish anything on a broiler or on a grill or, or even on a stove for that matter. I always like to go ahead and just seal in those succulent juices, transfer it to a baking sheet and then put it into the oven to let it finish cooking there. Because I don't like overchar. I see a lot of people, they go for the overchar and then when people bite into that, they get that charry carbon taste in their mouth. And we're not going for that today or any day for that matter. But what we are going for are these beautiful grill lines that we have here. And you can see that the, the, the goodness of this chicken is, is sealed in. Now when you present this to your guests, you're gonna find a certain ooh and ah, you know, that comes from a spatchcock chicken because you got the chicken so flat. And it's one thing I always like to do because it's easier to prepare, I mean, I'm sorry, easier to slice and serve that way. So, it looks like we're going to be done here because our boiler is nice and hot. So we're going to just going to turn those off. And if my producer cameraman will come a little closer, we're going to go ahead and lift. We're going to transfer it to this baking sheet. We're going to put it in that 350 degree oven for about 25, 30 minutes. And we're going to try not to get it near a lot of hot spots on there. Okay, it's up. We got our wings are going to go back underneath. I'm going to remove these gloves. And we're going to go ahead and transfer our spatchcock chicken. 
with fresh herbs. Got that lovely aroma of the bacon fat coming off. Into this 350 degree oven. For 25 to 30 minutes. We will take a break. Once that's done, we'll come back and we'll present to you the spash cop chicken. Okay, now through the magic of the pause button, we are ready to go ahead and take our spatch cop chicken out and show you, uh, we'll just put it on a plate for presentation. We'll add a little parsley to it, you know, nothing fancy this time, but I will photograph it and I'll uh, post it on my chef page. Okay, so we're ready. And I'll go ahead and give you a, a look of that on the pan. And you'll see that uh, the broiling lines are still there, very prevalent on that breast, with all the great spices that we added uh, earlier when we did the broiling process. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it on over. And we're gonna go ahead and transfer it to our uh, presentation plate. And like I told you, um, once you have something like this for your guests, this will be a uh, something to really impress the, your guests with, with minimum effort from you. Okay. And all I have here is just a little dry parsley. We're gonna go ahead and just we're just gonna go ahead and. Give this just a little light sprinkle. I'm going to serve this with something like a salad. Something nice and refreshing that you would normally do on a day that you barbecue. And uh, this is our lesson in spatchcock chicken. Once again, I'm Chef Tao. Check out my YouTube page. All right, check out Chef Tao on Facebook. Until next time. Happy eating, and remember, fresh is always better.